Hi everyone, it's Diana. This is going to be my pregnancy after loss vlog. I'm basically going to be talking about when I found out, how I felt, and all that other good stuff. So, how I felt when I found out. Of course, I was ecstatic, beyond happy. I mean, I, w I felt like I was on cloud nine. And then reality hit me like oh shit the same thing that happened to me last time can happen to me again am I ready to go through this again you know don't get me wrong I feel completely blessed I honestly feel like you know do I really deserve this so many women out there have been through so much and have been trying for so long and you know Look at me here. Like, I was just trying for one month and I got pregnant, you know. But then I think, crap, I've been through so much that it would suck, you know, after losing my son that I'd have to wait for so long, you know, to hold a little baby in my arms again. But I really feel like everything happens for a reason. And God wants me to be pregnant now. So I'm going to take it as as it is and just try to enjoy it but god is it hard you know one minute i'm so happy and then the next i'm worried like crazy like i call my boyfriend arturo because i just need like i just need to hear his voice to make me feel better because i get so anxious and i don't know i'm happy and scared so basically i'm very cautiously expecting if that's, I don't know, that's what you want to call it, I guess. Um, what am I doing to move on with this new pregnancy? So basically, I sat down with Arturo and I decided that I need to handle this in a completely different light. I need to be confident about my pregnancy. I need to know that this is going to happen. You know, just the way with try and conceive, I knew it was going to happen. So now that I am pregnant, I know this is going to happen. And I know God is going to bless me with a happy and healthy and strong baby that in a few months is going to be kicking my butt. And I'm going to be very grateful for all of those kicks and all of those pains and all of those aches. Because God knows how long I've been waiting for them. <laughs> um, so, I... After talking to my boyfriend, I decided that the way I'm going to celebrate every milestone, which is going to be for me at least every week. Every week is going to be a new milestone, like, okay, I made it to this week, and I made it to that week. I'm going to go and I'm going to buy something for the baby, you know, something cute that makes me look forward to, okay, the baby is coming, you know. With my last pregnancy, I bought absolutely nothing for the baby. Like, I had, actually, no, I'm going to take that back. I bought a Doppler, and that's it. I had a breast pump given to me by a friend of mine, and she never used it. It was given to her, and, and she never was able to use it because she dried up so quickly. So by the time that she got the pump, her milk supply had already dried up. So she gave that to me. So I had those two things from my previous pregnancy. But other than that, I never bought anything. Anything. And I was 19 weeks, so. Because I was always so scared that something was going to happen. And now I'm like, you know what? Nothing wrong is going to happen. Everything is going to be great. So I went to Walmart and I bought the cutest little onesie. Oh, they were adorable. It had like little ducks on them and um, the little hats. The little newborn hats, so. I was there, and honestly, I had so many mixed emotions. I was anxious, and, you know, at one point, I put it back, and I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. And then I forced myself to go and get it, because I was like, my baby is going to need this. <laughs> you know, I need to set my mind into positive mode. So, that's what I'm going to do every week. Even if it's something that's worth just $10, at least I'll have something that makes me feel like I'm getting ready for my baby because my baby is coming and it's coming healthy. So, yeah. I honestly thank God 
for you ladies. I know I've mentioned this before, but I am not telling anyone that I'm pregnant. I haven't told anyone that I'm pregnant. And I don't intend on telling any of my family for a while. And it's just so hard because all of my anxiety, all of my worries, I don't really have many people to share them with other than you guys and Arturo, the only other person that knows that I'm pregnant, you know. Um, I had mentioned before that with my first pregnancy, I had a lot of bad vibes around me, a few, you know, family members that really didn't care for the pregnancy and just Honestly, I decided that I am staying away from all of those people and only going to surround myself with positive people, positive vibes. And when I'm very well and ready to tell people that I'm pregnant, I'm going to do it. But for now, I am not telling anyone, like from my family or any of my friends or anyone, because I just want to savor the moment almost <laughs> and keep everything just positive. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my pregnancy after loss vlog. For all of you ladies out there that have gotten pregnant after a loss, wow. <laughs> it's just so sad. Like, all of that innocence is all gone. All gone. Like, now all I think about is all the bad stuff. And it's awful because I shouldn't think like that. This pregnancy started not long ago and it's already so completely different from my other pregnancy so I'm going to treat it like a completely different pregnancy I'm going to get my mind straight the way it should be and I'm going to be happy be only happy I, you know I could be worried sometimes but I'm going to force myself to be happy alright girls I'll talk to you soon bye